All right. Hi, YouTube. I'm going to talk about homosexual marriage or same-sex marriage equality. So I'm on a website called the American Defense of Tradition and Family and Properties, and they have a little list here of 10 reasons why homosexual marriage is harmful and must be opposed. Number one they have listed is it's not marriage. And they go on to say the promoters of same-sex marriage propose something entirely different. And they go and talk about biological, physiological, and psychological differences between two men and two women together. And I kind of don't agree with that. Number two, they say it violates natural law. There are plenty of things that are unnatural that we don't disagree with in this country. Plenty of things. And they go on to talk about how it's rooted in human nature. And they quote the Bible. And I'm going to talk about the Bible a little bit later. Number three, they say it denies the child either mother or father. I didn't realize it was illegal to be a single parent in this country. And they also go on to talk about how the child will always be raised by one party who has no blood relationship with him. And that's why adoption is bad, I guess. And I didn't realize that when you're also a single parent, you can't ever get married if you have a child because... God forbid you get married and then your new spouse raises your child with you in a loving, caring environment. That would be horrible. They say it validates and promotes the homosexual lifestyle. Don't know what's wrong with validating anything. They say it turns a moral wrong into a civil right. And they go on to talk about how it's not the same thing. Because a lot of people like to quote the case of Loving versus Virginia. Because in 1967, I believe it was... It was illegal and against the law for a black man and a black woman to get married, a black man to marry a white woman, or vice versa. They then go on to number six, and it says it does not create a family, but a naturally sterile union. So, sterile people, elderly couples, people who wish not to have children, obviously then cannot also get married, judging by this, because... They say the marriage is intrinsically sterile, and if the spouses want to conceive, they must circumvent by using costly things like artificial insemination or employ surrogates. There's nothing wrong with that. That's kind of probably a little bit better than having unplanned pregnancies left and right and not being able to financially care for your children. In a marriage, a homosexual child that they conceived will always be a child that they planned, that they wanted for, and that they knew they had the allotted money for. And defeats the state's purpose of benefiting marriage. I like the word that they use, benefiting marriage, because I'm not quite sure how a heterosexual marriage benefits anything. I don't think that your children benefit my society at all. I don't think that heterosexual couples are benefiting me. And I'm a heterosexual woman. I'm a Christian heterosexual woman, and I don't understand what they mean by that uh, homosexuals won't benefit society why they don't have jobs and that's why they don't pay taxes or do any of those other things it imposes acceptance on all society because we know acceptance is bad it is the cutting edge of the sexual revolution is number nine i'm just going to gloss over that one and number 10 is a defense god and they go on to list a bunch of other bible verses you can't use the bible to make laws this country is not a theocracy country was not built to be one. Our founding fathers left because they wanted to start a country in which they didn't have to abide by religious principles. They were setting it up so that there is supposed to be that divide and that freedom. You have the freedom to your religion, but I have the freedom to not agree with your religion. Yeah, it's a slippery slope once you start to use the Bible to make laws. What worries me most is people using the religion. If you keep using your religion, to make laws, it's going to set the precedent up for people coming after you for what you believe and what you want to do in your own personal life. People are going to always say, well, if I had to live by this religion, so I'm going to use my laws to govern everybody else. And that's what worries me much more. There are bigger things in this world to worry about than the homosexual couple next door getting married. They're not going to affect your marriage, and they're not going to make your marriage any less valid. There's nothing wrong with teaching acceptance in schools to children about how to accept other people, because that's what's wrong with this country right now. Is Nobody accepts people, and we fight, and we argue, and we judge people way too much. 
and that needs to stop. You don't have to agree with homosexuality. You just have to realize that this is the country in which everyone is supposed to be equal, and that's not happening. Everyone's okay with still using the term civil union, and they say that it's okay, let's just keep it that way, and then the heterosexuals, we're just going to hold on to the word marriage. That can't work either, because it's still separate. Separate but equal has never worked. Separate but equal means creating a second-class citizenship to all other people who are now forced to get civil unions. Then, I've heard people say that a marriage is a union between a man and a woman and God. To you, that's fine. For you being religious, that's okay. That is a union between a man and a woman and God, and that's a beautiful thing, but agnostics can get married and atheists can get married still, so it's not technically a union between man and woman and God either then. People who oppose homosexual marriage often say that they think it's harmful to the child and that it's detrimental to society. If my mother had the choice to either marry another woman or somebody who was in prison for life for being a child raping murderer who's a man, she can do that, but she can't marry a woman. And to me, I would think that would be more dangerous and hurtful to me and damaging to me for my mother to go marry the guy in prison than it would be for my mother to marry another woman. Also, right now it's legal to marry your cousin in more states than it is to marry somebody of the same sex. That also is a little confusing to me. There are things that are much more damaging to marriages in general than a homosexual marriage built on love and commitment and everything else a heterosexual marriage can be based on because it's the same thing. Things like AshleyMadison.com where it's encouraged to cheat on your spouse. I don't understand why all of these places for tradition of family values and family policy councils and NOM aren't rallying their money to prevent that, which is specifically targeting against heterosexual relationships.